Uh, good morning to everyone. I will greet you all. Yeah. I believe you are safe. Yeah, not good to Mahoro. And we are safe. We, we, we are at peace as well. To Rashima Chane. And we are, we are very thankful. To stand before. That, uh, if you don't know my name, they come here in Gisaga. They come here in Gisaga. Ariko kera wangita nibi hori ngere. But back then it was coming nibi hori ngere. Ariko wo beit kwa B. But now it's called B. Nguko. What ya? See, uh, names are people that are man made. Because if you look in the Bible, because we see uh, in the back then, Abraham, before Abraham was called Abraham. But when God blessed him, he changed his name. And he called him Abraham. Sarah was called Salai. But in God says, of now you are no longer Salai, but you are Sarah. So God bless you. Hanyuma tuke kuma majambo y'Imana. Are we going to hear the word of God? Ngera unyitangira amaze kuvuga majambo meza cyane. Uh I know the one who started before me she's a priest. Nagakora nagakora sigaciye nka hakari cyane. And the song they were singing is very beautiful as well. Kere kana yuko abantu atitugume mu mpemu. Cuz this shows that as people which is taking us to get na mu bindi. That let's not go in, let's not dwell in other things but let's take that spirit. Bitagire kimaze. They have no meaning. Tango manda babwire. But let me tell you this. See, when a person has lost their path, you lose your path, and you say, and you, you say you are in the truth. But, but you are dead. Because, uh, because God, because God respects you, and God just leaves you as you are. And you walk, you walk as you are. And whatever you do, you do as you want. And, and many other things. But the best to live in God is the Holy Spirit. And you have been ruled by the Holy Spirit. But you are not dead as I, as I said earlier. That has a better blessing and a better worth to you. So today we are going to speak on three things. But these three things is going to be one topic. Or one main topic. We are going to talk about action or work. When you say work or action, you understand that. And we talk about tithes and offering as well. So it's three things. But because if we say, let's speak about the tithes. But if you say that you're talking about action work, what about the But that one, see, so when we say tithes and offering, it's by, God, it's by God's command. And if you say you want to go, you want to follow God as well, you, you start doing that and then you do other things after you've done that. Don't say that God does not accept work, God does. And when we say work or action is to work. Uh, for example, here. Uh, we are here. Uh, we are here. We are trying to build a church. But we build a church by uh, giving cash. Yeah. And if you say we are building the church by cash. And if you are not working. Or if you don't work or contribute, basically you are dead as uh, 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 they said earlier. Because if you did not God is work, you have denied everything. If you did not touch an offering, you have denied it. So like I say, it's three things. So somebody, sometimes people they want to do only one among those three. And it's, I believe. But to me, I, I consider you, you don't believe. Yes, you believe, but you are dead at the same time. I say this because I was given the right to speak before you. Because you are not working in a sufficient way. So let's, let, without taking too long, let's go and uh, read the Bible. Uh, let's go and look at uh, God's word. We're going to start with work. Are we, we are going to read it in James. We are going to read it in James. James chapter 2 verse 14. 
Nimuitawo viheza haria. Ya, yeah, lakua kabiri kumurongwa chumi na kani. Kume mwizi na jaa Yesu Kristo, lakua kabiri kumurongwa chumi na kani. Ivyu kuize rani vikorgwa vyaku. Vyo mariki gabene data. Nambu monu avuga yu kwa fise ukuize. Ata vikorgwa akora. Begu kwa kuize ra, kwa shoba la kumukiza. Ni haba. Ya, numurongu mwaguzi. Awo. If you quit there, Nibi Korwa Vyako Vio Mariki Gabene Data Nambu Moon Abuga Yuka Fise Ukwizer Atabi Korwa Akora Begu Kokwizer Poshovora Kumukiz. Let's read English again, James uh, chapter 2, verse 14. What good is it, my, my brothers and sisters, if someone claimed to have faith but has no deeds? Can such faith save them? Uh, I'm pretty sure this is something very <inaudible> that if you're a person who believes <inaudible> and you, you believe it and you respect God. <inaudible> we said a person who believes truly <inaudible> in God <inaudible> that you are, you are sinless. <inaudible> you are holy before God. You are righteous <inaudible> before God. But you have no work or no deeds. <inaudible> you are dead inside. Because it, it be meaning, it's meaningless to you. Because work is to, is, is to work. So when a person serves God, God is pleased with you. And God, and God gets close to you. And God brings you, God gets close to you. You become God's child. And God becomes your God. But you say, I believe. I believe. I am a singer. I have, I'm God's servant. But you, you have no work to back you up. Questions, who are you? You are dead. Even the word of God had said so at the beginning. That you are dead, you are meaningless, you are worthless. That before God, you are of no value. But you still said, I believe, I have faith. I, I, I respect God and I have faith in God. That I commit no adultery. I, 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 I commit no sin. But if you have, if you have no work to back you up, you are, you are dead. dead. I'm not going to dwell into this too long because, I, like I said, I have three topics I want to uh, get Ecclesiastes. Uh, Numero Majana and Queen Amerongitano Kane. Utagira. Ichu sezerana, haku sezerana nushit. Nuku ndire akamwa kawe, guchumuza umubiri wawe. Kandu nhuzu fugire imbere, yumu marayika yuko, kwa waye uguchoroku. Noni mana, iriinde, kurakish kwa nijukiri jawe, kuki. Nogu sanga angura ibikogwa. Changa maboko ya. Amen. Wana isa tifiwe. Amen. Nukusanga angura evi kogwa evi maboko ya. That is destroying the work you have in your own hands. Muru mba shengiro jimani. You have heard. Iyo munu usezira nye. That whenever you make a vow or a promise. Nubona haja iyo munu. See, let's see if you see a person. Tuve muku itanga. Vyo sejo nivi kogwa. For example, let's say that you want to commit to something. Ati jendo tanga ya naya. And you say. You have to give something. Imana itiguheza giro bonye. At that point, God bless you. Iraguheza gira. God bless you in that moment. Ariku katuge ndoke o shatano wakaza. But it says it comes. Ariku a o. And say, you know what? Hey. Why you send a putzi? That the man have said to give. Is anybody gonna come and arrest me? Oburi gipfu. 
Thy, at that point you become dead because there they say you become a corpse that you, you are a corpse that you are a corpse so when you say a corpse that you are dead like really, really dead inside, that's why whenever you make a vow to give something do not let to, to, to fill it and whenever you have fulfilled the promise you give that God gives you more blessing in what you have if you are of your that all you have done, you see blessing in it. And God bless, God puts blessing in everything that you have, everything you have given. And that is why, whenever we promise to give a vow, let's give a food of And do not be afraid to speak. Fuga. Speak. And God will bless you. Because God cannot, God cannot not forgive, bless you. Because God blesses you and God give, uh, bless you and give you what your desire But if you have a second, a second thought, a second heart that you don't like, that you know what? It's a lot of money I, I promise or vow to give. Doing that, you have breathed, you have blood, uh, fire upon yourself. There in, uh, in a proverb, uh, and that's all like now. I remember like last week you made a promise here that you're going to give some, uh, some uh, I don't know how much it is. But I know you know what it is. But you made a promise between one another. You say we will do this. Then we'll give, we'll do this. So if you promise to do so, you should do so. And give. And give what you uh, vowed. And fulfill that promise. So that God could do what? So God can bless you. So the work that in your hands, that, so the God cannot destroy them. Because you know, before God, everything's possible. For example, car. God bless you the car, an expensive car. Or, or, if God wants to, God can take the car away from you in a few minutes, a few seconds. Because in a few seconds, that car can be away. And if God blesses you, the kind of you have will last for a long time. You can paint and repaint it. Because God has blessed that car. I'll uh, read in, in uh, Proverbs. I'm talking about Proverbs chapter 12. Uh, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 14. Proverbs Ahabga, if you want you, Nibi Kogwa, Shamaboko ye were Rumba. You hear that? Do so with him. Havugango, Umun Hazohaga, if Jiza, Abihesh, where Nibi Vuya Mukanwaki. Kandumun, Ahabga, if you want you, Nibi Kogwa, Shamaboko ye were. Let's read English again as a proverb, uh, twelve, verse fourteen. From the uh, from the fruit of their lips, people are filled with good things, and and the work of their hands bring them reward. Amen. Are you see? Here they are said to speak, or by by own lips. That you will be, be blessed by the thing that comes from you. From you are good to kavuga. Because when you stand and you speak. You see blessings. Yes. There's so many blessings in that. There's so many blessings in speaking. But you say that I'm not going to speak because I'm not going to have that amount. We're talking about uh, whenever we have like uh, a contributions. There's no blessing you could find from that. But when you speak, God bless you because you're, you're spoken. And God said that is my child. Instead of, he said, I, I, I respect God, I have faith in God, I walk with God. Truly, is you do. What you said is, is true. You work with God, you have faith in God. But you have the means to work, but you don't work. 
At that point in time, you become dead. You become a corpse. Because to God, you are of no value. Because serving God and praising His name only. Because you say that God awaits His servant to speak. And God will hear them. But you don't want to work. We think God will be pleased no, no, with you. No, no. Okay, for example, now we are, we are building God's house. We are building God's temple. And then you say, for me here, you know, let them work. And some here might say, you know what, let me leave and come back when the church is built. But once it's finished, we're not going to do it. So help us now. Do so support us now so we can build. And you see, let me tell you this. See, so God can never be the place to give. Because you give based on what you have. But if, if you don't work, and they, they have no job, they don't work, they, are old, they have no means of income, whatever they have and whatever they give, Whatever they have, whatever they give, that is not. It's not a little. Do not be, do not be afraid or be fear about just to give five thousand or ten thousand dollars or more. Whatever you have, as long as it's in your heart and you give it, God is pleased with you. So now let's move on on tight. Now let's go to verse number two. 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 Uh, let's move on and go no, on the second topic on tithes. And on the second topic, uh, it's second topic, but it could be, it could be into one. See, when we say tithes, uh, to explain this, uh, uh, tithes and offerings, these are things that have been kept by God. So when this thing are, are in God is keepsake, when it's in, in a bondage, when, when they give truly, they, they will take what they have and they build God's temple. That don't say we don't eat your money. We don't eat any offering or tithe. That I'm very thankful that nobody thinks that they eat the offerings. And second thing, I thank you guys all. That nobody has complained against God. God bless you. To that, God bless you. God bless you for that. Because I. I I hate people that will lie and, and accuse me of any man that I don't eat. But when we go on offerings and tithes, so we should give so that in God's house there could be uh, cash, money. Uh, for example, I have worked many in many churches in my lifetime. But when we are now as we are, but they have a church. When I get there, I was I asked myself, what happened? What did they do? But what you find out is it's bringing the tithes and offerings and of their giving, their volunteers. A person may say or may do. Okay. Okay. Okay, you might say that we need $5,000, for example. But you, and then you give $10,000. You think you're losing. You're, you're not losing. See, I once heard a testimony. There was once a man. It was back, back home in the salon. That man would give the tithe double the tithe. So whenever he is a man to give a hundred bucks, he will give two hundred. So whenever they give two hundred, he will give five hundred. But he is blessed. And he will say, me, he said, me, money is from, is from God. That, that I'm not, but I'm, borrowing, I'm letting God borrow my money and God pay it back. So God, I'm letting you borrow my money, I know you're going to give me the money back. <laughs> so I put a time that the senior pastor of the pastor that church uh, didn't, didn't have what to give. And he says, are you okay? 
have a lot of money. Uh, or you say you know, you work with you work uh, and you get you got you work and you get paid a lot of money. Yeah, And you say no son of God. But because you are a senior pastor, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'll be honest and tell the truth. And you say we well, see so whenever I give uh, two hundred dollars, it was many as many as I have given to one hundred. But I give one hundred, but the other hundred that I gave. I'm letting God borrow it. And you know God will pay me the money back. And if God does not pay me back, I'm going to hold, I'm going to hold God accountable. He did it for so many years. And then somebody came out uh, 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 out of country. And you say people out of country do love themselves. He spoke about after uh, conferences. And after this conference, he said God wants to come in his church. See, God is, God is very uh, I don't know. He said, I, I mean I, I, a person named this that in that instant stood up. And he said, this could have as of now is your car. You see? See, he let God borrow his money. And God paid the money back. You think the money the man gave in the cost of the So when God gives you, God gives you more than what you gave. But only when you have faith in God. But I am not saying this is a, is a, uh, is a testimony. I am not saying this is a testimony. But I'm saying this is a testimony. I'm not saying this is a testimony. I'm not testimony. I'm not saying this is a 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 testimony. I'm not saying Let's not keep God's things from But him. if we count how many we are, we should not be asking ourselves what can we do? Or how can we work? How can we serve? Because you work and you can. Because a church that gives the offering truly, because we'll be here for about 10, 13 years, we should have said that the money account is little. But that was only increased by the man who said that we should give hey. whether they want or not. You said, do this, right? And hey, let's see. Because we had a lot of money. We do. Uh, I noticed that in that one day, that in that one day, uh, we raised the amount. <laughs> in that one day, we raised uh, the amount comparable to what we have in a car for 10 years. Wow. Uh, if you're a church leader, you know this. It's not, it's not like, so we should change our ways to start giving the offerings in tithes. Because we search so many ways. But anything we found through tithes and offerings. Uh, let's read in Genesis. Uh, Genesis 14. Uh, Genesis 14. Uh, uh, Genesis 14. 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 Uh, I'm going to read Genesis 14, verse 17 and 20. Umwami wi Sodomu amusanganira mu kiyaya kisave nico kiyaya cy'umwami kandi Mercedeki umwami wi Selemu umuherezi w'Imana nsumba vyose azana imitsima na vino ahenzagira Abrahamu ati uragahabwa 
umugisha n'Imana nsumba vyose nye n'ijuru n'isi kandi Imana isumba vyose iraka uragahezagirwa yagushize abansi mu maboko nuko Abraham amuha kigira 10 muri vyose okay let Let's finish English once again was uh, Genesis 14, verse 17 until 20. We're going to read. After Abraham, after Abraham returned from defeating uh, King Kildomor and the, king, and the kings allied with him, the king of Sodom came out and met him in the valley of Shiv. That is, that is the king's valley. Then, then Melchizedek, king of, of Selim, brought out bread and wine. He was a priest of Most High, and he blessed and he blessed Abraham, saying, "Blessed be, blessed be Abraham, by God Most High, Creator of heaven and earth, and praised be the God Most High who delivered your enemies into your hands." Then Abraham gave him a tenth. Then Abraham gave him a tenth of everything. Amen. Then we got uh, Then 28 verse 20 to 22. Yeah. Yakobo Imana data mahoro uhoraho azova imana yanje niribuye nshize kwinza kingi dizova inzu y'imana ati kandi kuvyuzohora umpa vyose sinzobura kuguha mu kigira 10 amen in english then jacob made a vow saying if god if god will be with me with me and watch over me on this journey i am taking in a week and I will give me and will give me food to eat and clothes to wear, so that I return self to my father, his household. Then the Lord will be my God. And this stone that I have set up as a pillar will be God's house. And and of all and of and of all that you give me, I will give you a tithe. Amen. A tenth. Amen. Man, Amen. Here we will talk about our ancestor Abraham. I know many of you are shocked. Or Abraham. When God bless Abraham, Abraham. God said, I bless you. But I bless you a nation will see blessing through you. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So here, there was a king of, of Salem. And, and that uh, the king, the king he was a uh, he was a priest, most, he was a priest, a, a high priest. Hanyuma, so and then, kanda hari muri Sodom. Here was in Sodom. So at that time, Lot knew yaba. Lot was still living in Sodom. Abami wadi koranya, so about five, about five kings allied together. Baramutera, and they attacked him. And the robbed him of his people and all his but things. And he took Abraham as well. But, 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 and he took Roti with him with them. That was one of one of uh, But one uh, one person one among the uh, uh, Hebrews he went to Abraham. Went to Abraham and he told him what happened. And so Abraham got up and he went. He had people that he had people that he uh he saw uh, because Abraham, Abraham was very rich, so he had servants. He had many things, he was very wealthy. So he had about uh, about 300 or more people that, that was born Big, in his household. Yeah, so they were thought to fight to become a, a soldier. So he told them. Uh, let's go and follow the people who was robbed me by things. So they went and they followed him, them. But when they got, uh, when they got forward, I heard they, uh, they reached them. 
Abrahamu so Abraham achafata bari abantu bari kumwe he took the people that was with him urazi yabaye yari komanda you know he was like a commander achara bapanga so he, he took the uh, he put up in information ahenga mu icyo bacabate barabatera and when and when he and they attacked the barabateye so they attacked them icyo banyaze byose and all the thing your rap abantu bari batwaye what what the people that took them na rotu wiwabo even wrote his own his own people arabagarukana they brought them back hanyuma rero uwo mwami so this king the king of Salem uh, he welcomed him when he welcomed him and he returned everything, everything they had and he told him that in everything I'm giving you a tithe and that king said no one thing I ask you of is I return my people and everything else you can keep it Abraham was angry So Abraham said no. Abraham was coming here. When Abraham refused, Abraham moved here at it. And he told him, "Jewe, the Guhabanu are going to be us. I'm going to give you your people. Niki kira chumi niki guha. I'm going to give you the the tithes. I don't give you any. But everything else, since I became a, I don't I don't need it. I'm going to choose who's going to want to give it. But do not say that you made me rich. But that's what the the other uh, people said. Here is our ancestors. He gave the tithes. What is working? You know how to do so. What can you do? So what can you do? 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 What can you Because each person who might say or can say, that if you give, you give, you be, you be poor. If you, if you think that way, you are, you are, you are afraid. If you think that way, you are dead inside. Because it's God's house. Urumba, urayache. See, so you are giving uh, God to, be, to become uh, a keepsake for you. But you are, uh, you are. Uh, Black in that keeps from God. Umukozi mu imani wanezeye. I saw him God wants blessed me. How did you go online? I it was online. I was watching him online. I it was it was teaching about tithes. Atabugango. But he said, abantu batangira 10. Those who give the tithe. Nabambuzi. Abantu batangira 10. Those who don't give tithe, they are thieves. Nigisuma, they are thieves. Bamena bamena bangi imani mwijo. They, they are robbing they are thieves of rob and and it's true because if you don't give the time you are a thief you are a robber because you are robbing from God's bank because God's is coming for us so, but let me, tell you, let, let me tell you short no let's say yes so if jesus have you have you read anywhere God or just cast was uh, for contributions Because in the Bible is is not written. But people are giving the African touch. To what you make again is now the God who was going. Barashika na bagatanga. Cuz they are giving touch now. Baruba iman. There is no bad God. No na umgira ngo nguru iman. But how can tell that you bad God? If you don't give him the tight. Rusenya nzugu mena ubwiko bw'Imana. Because you you are not giving to Uri Gisuma to become a keep say you are a thief. Uri Gisuma na kwimu za Uri Gisuma. You are a thief from Uri Gisuma. Umena mwiju mwiko. You are a thief robbing guys bank. Kuko kuko utahamena because if if you never if you are not robbing guys bank. Woshika ni demand to gira 10. You be giving a tax in offerings. Si shikano le sichi. And even offering as well. Umuntu hagira ngo okay ngoma na gira 10. You say okay I don't give offerings I'm tight. Ya kore ya majana 5. You got pay for you got pay for five hundred dollars. I got to roll dollar to mungadi kushikani. You take one dollar and you give it as an offering. I don't understand what you're saying. But let me ask you. You got to roll dollar to mungadi. That one dollar you're giving. Muzi biri ya hatuli. If you end up building, you pay here at the church. For example, for example, if you pay one dollar each. I don't want to roll my jana biri. You buy two hundred dollars here. Now you don't have to go to church. Mister, come to church. Come my jana biri. No, no, I don't my jana biri. So that's two hundred dollars. Is it? Can you pay? Can we pay the electricity? Even another thing we need. It's not possible. And that's why we should be awake. But I'm not saying you don't give the tithe. No. But God bless those who do. But we are here because those who give. We are here because only the few are giving. 
There is a few who are giving his work God bless them. God bless them. Amen. Do not think I say all of you know. No, no, no. Uh, they, have, they, are, they, they spoke a metaphor, for a riddle. But they don't remember the uh, so let's give. There are men that, they are men that, that, that think. They can be they let me learn. They let me learn and, and I will be blessed. But oh, some say let me start a business and I'll be, I will see I will, I'll be blessed. By you being on God. But let me, let me show you. Me you see, uh, a, a person who's on uh, a person who's on earth and they are very rich with their God. A person who's rich, a person, a person who's saved, they are rich, but they give nothing. They start from the bottom with nothing. You can never say, I want to start a business. But you, you want to start a business. But doing that, you, you give it to Satan. Be honest with you. But because you can never see gain. If you give him a But when you are when you are working and you see gains and you give no tithes, the money you have has no power. Because at any moment that money could disappear. And when God feels and because God loves those who have righteousness. And if God maybe fears you because you are his righteousness and you serve him right. Because you, you do his work, but you don't give tithes. God might let you be as you are. But when, when the day is right and you pass, that it follows you. Question is, what, why do you say? We work, so, we, we work so that we want, we want to ask you to We work so that we want to ask you to The question is, what purpose is that you work? But what you have is not going to follow you. Because there's no gain through it. Because it's not going to follow you. But once you pass. Uh, here in uh, Proverbs. Uh, Proverbs chapter 11. Uh, verse 30 unto 31. Okay. Do so long as I get to Christ of Gango, and but toy Mogorozi, Nigiti, Chugingo, Kandu Fisa Ugenge, Ahindura, Emitima, Yavan, Tatnarim, Rava, Mogorozi, Azo Gregua, Equiranye, Nawe, Missi, No Numunya Kiwi, Numunya Viaha, Niviso, Rushiriza, Amen, Brock of the Chan. Amen, as we think it's in the proverb, chapter eleven, verse thirty to thirty one. The fruits of the fruits of the righteousness is the tree of life, and the one and the one who is wise and the one who is wise save lives. If the righteousness receive their, their dues on earth, how much more the ungodly and sinners? Amen. I appreciate this is very explanatory. Because many many think. We are, waiting to be, we are waiting to receive our, our reward in heaven. But God bless you here on earth. God bless you here on earth. When you serve God in the right way, God will bless you here on earth. And you become very, very well known. Because you love God and God loves you. Because you have nothing, uh, you, you have nothing black you from God. Because everything you give it to God. Uh, you know. Uh, let me give you an, another testimony. 
I don't know, I don't know the person. You can see that I don't know. What is Zimbabwe? The person that heard from Zimbabwe. No, no, no. You are man at twenty chance. The person who obeyed God who was but very wealthy. But what can we say about banky chance? But he said they said that man uh, is blessed with banks. We are moving very much into man at chance. And that person was giving after to God. Man, I'm going to get him. Man, I want you. And guess my child. Na bi kubwa. You have no. You have no words. You have no tights. Moreda. Serve me. Jabu ye. Where did it come from? The poor come who are Christian to come to him. He said, We have no man to build. This yeah. is a truth and not true. And, and, and he, he built a, a church for them. So he could build a church in his own. Because they have no ways of doing it. Meaning that, that he gave the money to God. He gave the money to God. Because that was God's money. So you say, God, you know, you know that's my money, and I'm giving it to you. So, because he has so many things. So whenever you, whenever you have a lot of things, a lot. and when God wants to bless you, God will bless you. Uh, let's finish in one verse. Maraki nayo nsoma ni maraki wa moyo mbinisi yose. Tunaweza kusoma, ariko tunaweza kusoma umurongo umwe mu kitabo cha Hagai. Oh we can read one verse in in Hagai. Kitabo cha Hagai ni hali ya nyinyi ya maraki gatoyo. Hagai kabiri. We can read in Hagai chapter 2. Hagai kabiri. Umurongo umunane. Wabonye hasome. Changere kanda havuga. Havuga ngo amafeza it says that our money is a have gold Jose Nivyanje. But everything is for God. Dero mugiye Jose Nivyanje man. So if everything is for God, nushiti kai na gatoya ishobora kuigwika bikwaga. So God could keep it deliver to you God could take it away from you. If you ndeba za katoka rukiriza ngaho. Yo sinkunda kurambira abantu yende kuvuga ubutumwa. Muri Malaki murahazi. I Malaki, you know what it is already. Malaki, Malaki, got tattoo. Where I couldn't go, could not go. I'm Malaki, three verse seven and ten. I don't want to have so many headaches. I'm not gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Because I know how it is in Malaki. 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 Because Uhere mu bihe bya basohokuruza muhora mukebya mugata amabwirizwa yanje nti muyitonde ni mungaruke ko nanje nzobagarukako ni kuhora honye ningabagize yamara muravuga muti twogaruka mu buryo ki munani mbega umuntu yogunga imana ariko mwebwe mwarangunze Yamara muravuga muti twakugunze ibiki mwangunze ikigira 10 namashikanwa wamuvumo muravumwe kuko ihanga ryose uko mungana mwangunze muzane mu bubiko ibigira 10 namashikanwa kugira ngo inzu yanje ibe mwivyo kurya enda ni mu bwingeragereshe ni kuhoraho nyene ingabo agize murabe ko ndazo bagomororera ingomero zo mwijuru nkabacunjumurira imigisha mukabura aho mubikwiza amen ngirango birasobanutse ivyo byuvyo i'm pretty sure that makes sense igihe cyose mu mavyumvise the every time you've heard this verse nani mumva abagunga imana so those who, who rub god bari mu ishengero they are in the church yeah they are not outside but rather they are in the church and many of those who obey god and they respect god ugasanga bayubahisa kari mikonye ne guse in said they respect god only by only for the moon yo shima kuvuma ni imana ninde who who wish to be cursed by god nobody does because we all want blessings we all want blessings so god can bless us then we can serve him you see them tell you 
See, God bless you with the right hand. And God wants you, God wants to bless you, and you do, you do say return. But only going to company and, and work. You never talk question is, what do you get that strength? It's not going like to bless you with that strength. No, no. So if, if you work in your strong, and you are healthy, what can you not give the proper touch to God? So let's, let's give God this tithe. We have said in Haggai, uh, 2, uh, 2 verse 8, that uh, offerings and gold is for God. It's for God. Meaning God has given you and God is, is and God, if God does not want you to, does not want you to uh, consume it, you will not consume it. And so, uh, Let me tell you, I know that many of you lived in Congo. There was a man called this man called eh? Bakanga Meso. Uh, he was a brother to me. Uh, he was a brother-in-law. He was my brother-in-law kuri mama mudogo. to my brother-in-law. Hanyuma, I saw Uyumugabo. This man was very bubira na anuma tamu. This man was rich. If you mutra wa bubira, kwanza mamazi mu neva bubira ni inde. Ora muzi. Ah, man, go ahead again. There are tunes biyega. I listen. He was very, very rich. Man, mi makubija. But God did not bless him to consume. Ingwa ingwa rasi zos. All the illness in the world will come to him. With his heart, with his uh, kidney, and any other illness, he tried to get to to, uh, to be cured, could not. And he said, God, that you could take all my wealth, but let me be healthy. It's what he said. So first, God blesses with wealth. God blesses with wealth, and God has blessed in the ways to consume this wealth. Instead, let God be his way. They need to give tasks and offerings. Yeah. You, you will see it, it might happen to you. What I'm saying now might happen your way. So let's be away, be away. So you can serve God. Let's not say. Some said that I've given the beautiful and I'm done. Fini, fini, fini. I'm finished, I'm done. Abindi. There's nothing else. <laughs> you think you are uh, giving e, the beautiful e, 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 What about the thing? Who do you give it to? Hey, Joe, I'm yesterday. Tomorrow, tomorrow will come. Tomorrow, we, need, we want a church. No, no. The senior pastor must stand before you. Because if you stand here, say, hey. Uh, 10,000. It's, it's an example I'm saying. <laughs> because God will sign the <laughs> promise. <laughs> and say, if the vow, they should give them <laughs> the amount. Because we are, we are a church we are building. Because that gives you tomorrow we can step in that church. <laughs> I can see it. We have seen that it. I don't know if you think it's same as I do. Tomorrow, I'm to, we'll take a mic Because I know that God will not forsaken me. But I, I, will, be, I will still be living. You know why I say this? Yeah. I'm going to tell I didn't give you last time. See, I as a child, we don't have to about 12 years old. Oh, no, not 12 years old. Let's say about 10 years old. Because the war of 72, not 72. Because there was a bow that came to the families. So, so my mom picked me up. She said, my, my child, go in her boat. And the person who was, uh, the person, Person of the charge and say, You know what? It's fine uh, because they are set us to be taken by Sinoris and say, You know what? I was happy because I was fleeing, but it was we were in Tanganyika. 
Uh, if you know there is a park, there's a zoo for animals. A park for animals. So, we about 5 p.m., 5 a.m. in the morning. So we went by boat. But as we went by boat ahead of us, we, they, they say, okay, the boat is overflowing. I'm being honest. 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 So he took me and he, and he took his own child he was about eight, eight years old and he, he took his, uh, his, uh, his other niece who was in sixth grade so he was about 12 years old he was like the oldest among us and he told us three that stay here I'm going to come back to pick you up and you say are you abandoning us but for example because I, I always think about this God is powerful because he left us in the middle of the we are kids we are kids because the 14 is old because once he left us in the middle of nowhere because uh, the, the oldest one wanted want to choke himself to commit suicide. You see, he tried to uh, choke himself so to commit suicide, but he couldn't. He said, you know, let me go, let me, let me let the hippo eat. It. He went into, into the river and the hippo uh, made a stand to him and ran. He came back with the fate, he ran. So we stay, we are crying in the sand, so long we are crying until we cry at the people who cry no more. A person is a little bit older, you are wise, depending on your age. And he told us, oh, the, one is, the one who was 14 years old said, you know what, let's go back where we came from. And see that maybe we can encounter people on the way. So we went back. We walk and walk. And we saw a path of people were working, walking. And he said, let's go. And we went. There was in the middle of nowhere in the forest. But when we were going in the forest, we got in a place, uh, we got to a neighbor. Maybe, maybe it was a house where people are fleeing already. And we went to, into the other house, but thankfully there are people inside. Look, there was a woman in the house, and that woman recognized us. And she received see this in that moment. And she said, she said where, where are your parents? And we say how we were abandoned in the And she was and she fell down and started crying. And she said, kids, stay here. And if I die, they will die too. And if I'm saved, they will be saved too. And Two, two days later, we found a place to live. Uh, she found food for us to eat alongside with the kids she had. And about three days later, watch you. Listen through this, my mother. My mother loved me. I mean, I know they loved me, but my mother loved me more than the kids. For example, at that age, I knew where she kept her money. Because she kept her money in the little, uh, let's, let's, a, let's say a bottle. So that woman freed in that same day. But when she got there, she said to me, oh, no. my mother flew later on and she asked the man, she asked the man, where's my kids? And the man explained to her, to her what happened. And my mother caught the man by the throat. Let me tell you this. When a person is angry, is angry. The poor came to try to take her away from that man. The police. They had to the police. They came and they took the, uh, my mother away from that man. Because my mother is uh, chinishing. And she said what happened. And she said, man, you are, you are a bad person. 
So when that happened, and I was still there for three days. A boat came. Mm -hmm. And that boat was sent. The boat was sent to me. Mm -hmm. They recognized me. Mm -hmm. And I was the first to And I consider about to that be a boat. I ate into that boat. And I was saying, I thank you, are blessed. God bless all of you. Amen. Yeah, I'm going to kill